BD Sub to Sub includes several options for changing the size and timing of subtitles. To access these options, you will need to use the Conversion Options dialog. It will open automatically whenever you load a subtitle file. You can also open it manually using the Conversion Settings option on the Settings menu. The Convert Resolution option is used when you resize your video from one resolution to another. Only standard Blu-ray resolutions are supported. This will ensure that not only is the size changed, but also the pixel aspect ratio is corrected to retain the original shape. Simply enter the resolution you are converting to. If you are changing the frame rate of your video, you will also need to do the same to your subtitles. Once again, this is most commonly used for PAL to NTSC or NTSC to PAL type conversions. You will first need to specify the original frame rate, which will be either 23.976 or 29.97 if your source was an NTSC DVD, or 25 for a PAL DVD. Then you will enter the new frame rate. Forced subtitles are displayed regardless of whether you have selected them for playback or not. BD Sub to Sub has three different options related to forced subtitles. In most cases, an entire subtitle stream is either forced or not. Set All will make the entire stream forced, and Clear All will set every subtitle to not forced. Occasionally, forced and regular subtitles will be combined into a single stream. Although BD Sub to Sub does have an option to set individual subtitles to forced, you can't do that here. In fact, if you have a subtitle stream like this, it's generally better to use a combination of Make MKV and MKV Cleaver to extract the two types into separate subtitle streams instead. We won't be covering that here. Just remember that this setting is all or nothing unless you select the Keep option. You can also resize subtitles manually with the Apply Free Scaling option. Scale X sets the horizontal resize factor. For example, setting it to 1.5 will make the subtitles 150% of their original width. A setting of 0.7 will result in subtitles which are 70% as wide as the original. Scale Y is for vertical resizing. Otherwise it works exactly like Scale X. Numbers larger than 1 will increase the height of the subtitles, while numbers less than 1 will reduce the height. Since these two settings are independent of one another, you can resize in either both directions or only one. You can also scale by different amounts horizontally and vertically, or even increase the height while decreasing the width, or vice versa. Free scaling may be particularly useful for adjusting subtitles so they fit completely in the letterbox portion of the video frame. This may also require changing the position of the subtitles, which is covered in another After Dawn video guide, as well as the main BD Sub to Sub guide on our website. The options listed under Times affect the timing of subtitles. Every subtitle has a start time relative to when the video starts. Adjusting the delay will change the start time of each subtitle by the same amount. Setting it to a positive number will cause each subtitle to appear later while a negative adjustment will make each one appear earlier. The delay is in milliseconds. To make subtitles appear one second later, you would set a delay of 1000. Likewise, to make them appear one second earlier, it would be negative 1000. Normally, it shouldn't be necessary to make adjustments that large, or even larger than a couple hundred milliseconds. Fixed two short frames sets a minimum time for each subtitle to appear on the screen. You can uncheck this option if you prefer not to set a minimum time for each subtitle, but keep in mind the default is only around half a second, and obviously if a subtitle disappears too quickly, you won't be able to see it at all. 
You can also increase this time, but be careful. If you make it too long, you risk subtitles being set to display simultaneously. In most cases, there should be no need to adjust it. Once you have finished setting the conversion options, close the dialog with the Save button. If you are resizing your subtitles, there is one final step. Since your subtitles are in graphic rather than text format, there are many different algorithms which can be used for resizing. These are implemented in the form of filters. The choice of filter is one of personal preference. None is better than the others. But each one is different. When you select a resize filter, you will see exactly what the resulting subtitles will look like. To make this clearer, I have upscaled my subtitles to 150% of their original size. Although this is somewhat unrealistic, since your subtitles may also be upscaled by your TV, it's still important to be sure you pick the one that looks best to you. You may not see the differences between different filters easily, but if you pay particular attention to the curves and angles of different characters, they should become apparent.